Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today, right here with Rust Belt Mechanic. Guest star, truck master, Q left right there. We have come all the way back up here to Schwartz Creek, Michigan, where I left my baby three weeks ago. It seems like six months ago. But we've had everything done here with Matt and his shop at Diesel Pros here in Schwartz Creek, Michigan. And he's done an amazing job with putting the truck together with the HSP compound turbo kit. So we're gonna get looking into just how awesome this thing turned out. So Matt's had this truck right now for right on three weeks and I give him mad props because how this kit has turned out has been absolutely amazing and I'm sure this thing has been a pain in the butt to be able to install. Everybody, right there. So th this kit has been something I've been looking forward to for a really long time. Uh, if you knew from before, I had a really big 6871 turbocharger from Ryan's Diesel Service. It was awesome, but it wasn't really great for long commutes from Ohio to like Michigan or something like that. It was running EGTs that were really high to be able to keep the vein position all the way up. You're getting a lot of back pressure and not really the greatest thing for an engine running 1200-ish EGTs for a long period of time. Not a great thing. So I wanna have Matt here go over how this installation went and you know what he thinks about the HSP kit. So basically we started off, of course, uh, we got the truck in the shop and uh, during the coolant and stuff like that. Um, and then I started by just taking the, taking the um, hot side, cold side pipes out and stuff like that, the HSP cold air intake, the coolant bottle, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, first and foremost, went after um, putting the new Valley charger in. Um, the installation on that was was pretty pretty easy breezy there, um, and uh, you know nothing nothing to really to be expected uh, there in terms of since the truck has been apart before, um, but the installation went good everything went went smooth. Um, definitely took my time on it and made sure that uh, all the clamps were in the right positions and stuff like that. Um, you know, this is this is in my mind a show truck, so uh, we want to we want our work to show for that. Um, which is the reason that I did the installation myself here. I didn't have any of the text do it or anything like that. Um, and uh, we, we st I strive on quality for something like this and want everything to be perfect. So the installation w wasn't too bad at all. Um, just took a little bit of time, but that's very, awesome. Very happy with how it turned out. And it, sh it definitely shows. The amount of quality that I'm seeing out of the kit right here, I mean, where the clamps are placed, the wrapping on the exhaust pipe from the other turbo to the to the big Borg Warner one, it turned out absolutely amazing. So the specs that I ended up going with on this kit, uh, we ended up changing out that Valley Turbo. We didn't really want to have a big 68 millimeter turbo. You know, that thing would take forever to spool. It'd be great on the top end, it'd be insane, but for spool wise, we need to go with something a little bit more manageable. We ended up going with a Ryan's Diesel Service 64, 66 turbo there in the valley with the polished cover on it. It looks really, really good there. And then for the second turbo, uh, with the HSP kit, we ended up going with the Borg Warner. It's a uh, S475, big turbo. Uh, we ended up, normally they go with a 132 exhaust housing, but we ended up opting for the 115 exhaust housing just to be able to get a little bit better spool time with it. It's still gonna have a decent amount of top end with it, but it's gonna be able to spool a lot quicker than it would if it were to have a 132 housing. Uh, we did the titanium or the uh, billet uh, thermostat housing here with the optional coolant crossover here in the front. It's all matched in the same graphite gray uh, with the black HSP logos. This kit looks absolutely amazing. It looks really great. One of the other things that we ended up going with on the kit on the hot side is going to be the Turbo Smart uh, blow off valve. So, normally on an LBZ truck, you've got a VGT 
uh, turbo in the valley. So that one with the variable vanes, uh, they're able to change back and forth. So when you let off the throttle, it's going to decrease the pressure on those vanes. So you're not going to have a whole lot of back pressure coming out. You're not going to be blowing off clamps, doing stupid stuff. But with the fixed vane turbo that we have here for the S475, that one does not have the changing vanes like that. So we have to go with a blow off valve. When you let after high boost, you let off the gas, that compressor wheel is still spinning at a pretty good amount of speed. So you have to have some way to vent off that pressure on the inlet side of the, the turbo. So with doing that, we have the Turbo Smart uh, blow off valve. It's able to blow that pressure off just nicely. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be a little tuning that we'll have to do with that one because it is a pretty advanced system. I'm not really uh, dialed in with working on those. So I'm sure we'll be doing uh, some checking with one of those. But I think the biggest thing right now is we need to take this thing for a test drive. See what kind of beans she's got. Let's go give it to her. We're gonna do this one. Holding on for dear life. We got her turned up. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Don't want anybody to get it in front of us. <laughs> Legit, we were just spinning wheels at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, this thing is freaking bananas. Absolutely nuts. You're not happy with it all, are you? Yeah, it, it's all right. It, it's all right. It's all right. We just tell Matt it's okay. It, it's okay, Matt. Don't worry about it. I want to hear what it sounds like with the windows up. <laughs> There's nothing but a cloud of smoke out back either. <laughs> oh my god this thing is insane we're gonna let that car get going a little bit first fresh road fresh road hopefully we don't break anything well, if we do, we know a good diesel shop. Let it roll into it. We had the blow-off valve was maxing out at 35, 38 PSI. I, I think we'd be able to adjust that a little bit, but it was also spinning the wheels at that pressure. So I don't know how much more traction we can hold. The motor's got more boost to it, but the tires are not are not gripping. Your gimbal doesn't like this either. This has so much go to it. This is nuts, guys. Oh, I, I freaking love this thing. This is cool shit. There's the whoop. -doo. There's the whoop. <laughs> that blow off valve is insane. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't say thank you enough to Matt and the guys over at Diesel Pros and how amazing of a job they did. This HSP kit turned out absolutely amazing. Also a big shout out and a big thank you to Ryan over at Ryan's Diesel Service 
for hooking us up with an awesome 6466 turbo for the the one in the valley uh, it's a really really great combo I'm gonna be putting some crazy miles on this thing this weekend uh, we're actually gonna keep on rocking with this one we're gonna be going up uh, from here in Schwartz Creek, Michigan. We're going up to Chicago to see my buddy JRC54. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff with him this weekend too, and uh, getting some miles built up on this thing. It's gonna be a, a really good time. So I wanna thank everyone for tuning into the channel today. It's been a really awesome experience. We're gonna be rocking more uh, with some really cool content coming up here real soon. Uh, Duramax stuff, we've got so much more coming up here with it. We've got uh, interior stuff coming for it. We've got some really cool stuff going on in the back. We're gonna be doing some custom seats, seat covers, build with some audio to it too. So this thing's getting the whole nine yards built. I appreciate everyone tuning in today. Thanks and as always, you guys stay awesome. So we got back from the test drive and I gave it all of it, you know. So I figured that would be the end of the video, but it can't be because right. have a look right here. How long do you think that's tight? This hood liner right here was in perfect shape like that over there. That sits right below the blow-off valve. That thing sits right above the blow-off valve. Now what we were thinking that this turbo setup is capable of like 60 psi of boost. And right now, evidently, how it's set up, it's at like 38 is when that blow-off valve starts to open. So it was just non-stop opening for that whole time there when we were over three-quarter throttle on Tune 5. And that's what it does. That's crazy. I'm not disappointed, though, because if that's all that happens after putting this much extra horsepower into it, I'm all right with that. More excuses to make a couple more custom parts.